All right, so today we're going to look at how to make your own scaling on the PLC Next with an analog input. In the past couple videos, we've used a library. Um, that can work very well in some cases, actually in a lot of cases. Um, but if you're like me, and you like to try and do everything so you understand how it works, that way when something breaks, you can go ahead and fix it. Or if 10 years down the road, you need to reprogram this unit, and you don't have that library anymore, um, things can go awry. So we're just going to look real quick at how to do that yourself. Um, so this is the card we're using. Um, this is the data sheet. We are going to use the IBIL format, and we're going to do 4 to 20 because that's what my meter is set up to do. So we'll see that plus 20 is 30,000 counts, and plus 4 is 0 counts. So we're just going to have to remember that. So we come to our code. Now, when you're putting um, variables into a card, they need to be in word format. So the first thing I'm going to do is say E A I one, and this is going to be a word, oops, a word. And the usage is actually going to be external because I would like to assign it to a card. Um, we're also just going to create another variable for the scaled output. Um, we're actually going to make this a real because that's what we'd like to have. And local is fine because we don't need to interact, at least in this case, outside of this program. Um, so we can go ahead and just double check our AI8 card. We do see we're in the IBIL, which is the inline format. And channel one is set up for 4 to 20 million. So if we go to the data list, we can attach to input number one we can attach our EAI1. Um, so if we go back to our code worksheet, so we'll say something like scaled output equals, and it does get a little bit tricky because you do have to say to real, then you have to do to int, and then we can put in our EAI1. Um, and then a double parentheses should close that out. And then we want to make sure that these are also in their own parentheses when we interact. Um, we know that 30,000 is the count, so we're going to divide this number by 30,000. And then in order to get it into a format that we want to read, we need to know the scale. So in this case, we're going to be using the 4 to 20 milliamp. So our scale is technically 16, but I do like to let the computer do the math. Um, so we're going to multiply that by uh, 20.0 minus 4.0 and then close the parentheses and then add our semicolon. Um, that should fix this statement. Uh, you will not be able to go from a word to a real. You do have to go from a word to an int to a real. So let me go ahead and write this project and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. Now I did notice that I missed something. So if you'll notice, my scale output is 14.17. On the screen, it's technically 18.2. So I forgot to add the four offset. So we can go offline. We can go back to our IO testing. And we should be able to put this whole statement into a set of parentheses so that it executes that statement first. And then we'll add 4.0 to the total. That should fix our problem. So let me go ahead and write and start this project. And we'll see if that fixes our scaling problem. So now that we're online, we're going to go to IO testing. We're going to go to analog IO. And we see that it's now 18.17. If I adjust this down to 16, you'll see that we get 15.97. And if I adjust it to 12, we get 11.97. So that's mainly just probably a rounding or scaling issue inside the meter or the PLC, which is why we're just slightly off from where we need to be. We should be at 16 and we're at 15.97. Um, so that's how you can scale it yourself without having to use a function block. Um, it's fairly straightforward. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys real quick that it does say 15.97 and not exactly 16, which is on the meter. So I just wanted to double check I wasn't doing anything funky. And if we go to the analog IO function block, I did set it up 
for the proper data, four to 20 milliamps with an I range of three, according to the data sheet, and we still end up with 15.97. So there's definitely some either scaling issue in my fluke meter, which is probably the case because I find that these Phoenix IO devices are fairly accurate. 